Hi, I'm Christine Ree from Autism Classroom Resources, and I want to share with you how you can use TPT's built-in tool to have students complete items that maybe you have bought digitally in the past that were not designed for distance learning. You can use the digital tool to assign them to your Google Classroom. They will need to be something like a worksheet or task cards that the student can complete by writing. There's no drag and drop at this point, and it will need to be through Google Classroom, but that is they are both things that they are expecting to expand over time, and it is a really great way to expand your resources uh, so that you're not repurchasing things a second time just to have it in a digital format. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So first of all, when you, I wanted to show you this because if you own something already, um, you can go and see if this TPT digital item box is there. Um, you can learn more about it by clicking on that and you can open the TPT digital activity that way. So I wanna show you one that I've already set up, um, I, but I know that I haven't gotten to all of mine or many of mine really, and I wanna show you how you can use them on your own, um, even if the author has not set it up. So this one you can see I've taken out the title pages, I've taken out the credits, the keys, all that kind of stuff. All of that's still available to you in your PDF download. Um, but in addition, I've gone through and I have put text boxes on each one of the task cards as well as in all of the worksheets. So um, this one is ready to go and you could just assign the ones that you need. That's in contrast to this one where this is what it will look like when you open it. So I want to edit the pages because obviously I don't want the keys, I don't want all the extra pages. Now in this case, in your case, you're just doing using the pages that you need to assign today for that student. So you're going to have to remove them. So select all of them. And let's say I want to keep this store and this um, worksheet. So then all I have to do is then click remove and that's all I've got left and I save my changes. So now I wanna go in, now keep in mind that since this is two pages, they're gonna to have to go back and forth. So that will maybe be an issue for some students. Um, this one has a word bank that can be done as a cut and paste, but it also can be used just as a word bank. So in order to add in answer boxes, it's really pretty easy. You just click the answer box and make this. Now that'll tell you what the answer will look like and um, you can make the font bigger or smaller as you want it to be. Um, and then you can actually do Command or Control C and then I just click and it puts it in. Command V So that's just the copy and paste feature on your keyboards. And now it's pretty much ready to go. Okie dokie. Go back to select. So now it's ready to go. So if I preview it, I can see what it looks like. The students are going to type in this box. Um, I can then name it. This is winter clothes. And now I can assign it. So when I do that, I create an access link. Um, I'm gonna come back to this page when I want to review my responses. In order to share the link, click this little green button um, which wasn't particularly clear to me, so I wanna make sure that you know that. That then gives you an opportunity to open your classroom. I wanna create an assignment. Um, and all I can make it worth points or not worth points, however I wanna do it. 
I can choose a due date. If I have a due date, I could put it in a topic. So I could put it in, I'm going to put that in reading and then I assign it. So it's been posted to my class so I can go look at my class as the teacher and you see it's right here. So you can see that I've assigned it to myself. Um, now, let me show you what it looks like from the student's point of view. This is the student's classroom. So I need to update. So you can see that I posted a new assignment. When I click on it, when I click on this, it's going to take me to TPT. I'll cover this in just a moment, but you will need to mark it as the student will need to mark it as done if you want a notification from Google Classroom. That will not happen when they submit it in TPT, and I'll remind you of that when we get there. And you can see that I have a new assignment. So when they open this, they sign in with the same thing they signed in with Google Classroom. So I'm signing in with that account. I have an access code. And here it is. So here's the menu, the store flyer. And then I always forget this. You need to click the button up here to get to page two. Okay, so now the student can complete this activity. So the name is Chris. Can I buy a bathing suit in this sale? Well, let's go back and look at the store flyer. Um, no, because it's only winter clothes. What is the woman's sweater made of? Okay, so once I have it all completed, then the student can turn it in. So they just click turn it in. Are you sure that you're done? Yes, turn in. So they get that. Um, they can then close that window. Coming back to your classroom though, remember that it will not show them that it's completed unless they go into their, back to their classroom. So I close that window and they mark it as done. So you need to let them know or their parents know that that's what needs to be done if you want to get a notification because shortly I will get an email telling me that I have an assignment to grade. Now next, as the teacher, you are going to come back and you're not going to be able to grade it in Google Classroom. You're going to need to come back and an easy way to do it. Now I clicked off that it was turned in, so that's why you see that here. Uh, the easy way to do it is just to go back to this. There is a link you can go to, but if you go to assign, you now have one response and you can review it. So the easiest way to me is just to go back to the same link you assigned to the students, but there is a link for all of your assignments that will be here. So you can actually just copy that and keep it as well. Um, so I need to click on the person's name. I was turned it in and now I can go through See, I always do that. I always forget that I have to go. I can now see what the responses are. And so I can then check it. If I want to, I can return it to the student. If I have things, maybe they didn't finish it or they accidentally hit submit or something like that. You can return it to them to complete. However, know that if you return it to them, you will no longer have access to it until they send it back to you. So if you want to keep this as a permanent product, take a screenshot of it and that will give you your permanent product in case you don't get it back from them. Um, so you may want to use your button to make this smaller and then just use your screen snipper or whatever it is to take a picture. Um, that way you don't have to worry about not having the permanent product that you might need. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So if you have any questions, let me know at the contact information in the next section. Thanks. Mm -hmm.